Hello guys, my name is Alex. Welcome to the Freight Broker Training Channel. Nice to see you here. We are going to do a step-by-step walkthrough to show you all stages of this process. How can you organize the process of brokering a load? What should you post on the load board? What are your responsibilities in general? Answer to these questions and much more I'm gonna tell you today in this video. We prepared detailed 70 steps and let's begin. Step number one. Contact your shipper by phone, by mail or face to face, but you need to start a conversation. What's where it all begins? You need to contact your shipper on your shipping prospect. In most cases, you don't know what they are, but that's step number one. Step number two. Freight quote. As a broker, you need to provide that shipper a freight quota at some point you are going to have. To quote a load, you are going to have to quote some freight. Maybe they have a load you are gonna to try to quota on. Maybe they need help with it. After that, you have to provide them with a freight quote. Typically, there are truckload quotes. It will be typically with brokers, it's mainly full truck. And so you are gonna to provide a freight quote to your potential shipper. Step number three. Assuming that the shipper accepts your quote and they approve you as a vendor, you will get a tender. What does it mean? It's an offer to make its load. So if you submit rights to a shipper, if a shipper then tenders you a load, it means they are sending you an offer for a load you will then need to accept. That offer and now that load is yours and the shipper is going to check that off their list and they now know you as a broker handling that load them. It's a dedicated now. Step number four. You as a broker approve credit on shippers if they are a first-time shipper. A lot of times shippers don't want to credit apps before they are ready to send loads to you. Sometimes it can worry, but ultimately, if it's a first-time shipper, you are gonna have to run credit on them some way either. You can use a factoring company, they are gonna help you to do it. But ultimately, you have to run an approved credit. Step number five. You need to take those details from that load tender and you need to post that load on your favorite load boards. Then you need to post the details of that load, the origin, the destination, the equipment types, the pickup dates, the drop dates. That's going to create visible for carriers that are searching for loads. After you post that load, you are going to have to find a truck to cover that load. Typically, finding, finding a truck is going to come in one of two ways. Particularly as a startup one is when you post the load and carriers are going to start to call you. If it's a desirable load and you will see trucks on your load board that match that load. Step number six. You have to do a search based on different parameters on the load board and you will see trucks that are available to haul that load and then you will call them. So it's either an inboard call from a carrier or you need to reach out to them, contact them and discuss and find a carrier. Step number seven. You need to send the broker carrier setup package to the carrier some documents as a part of your broker carrier setup pack. Step number eight. After sending that to the carrier, you will get back a signed copy of the broker carrier agreement as well as proof of insurance. Step number nine. You will then send a rate confirmation to the carrier assuming that they vetted the carrier and the paperwork is all in line. 
And here you should indicate the following information about the lot. The region, the destination, the pickup dates, the pickup times. And it's basically like one page contract, like a one page agreement that the carrier will then sign and send back for confirmation. Step number 10. The carrier signs and returns the right confirmation to the broker. Step number 11. You then dispatch the driver into the pickup location on the day of the load. The day the load is going to be picked up, you should dispatch the driver into the pickup location to make sure that they are gonna pick up the load up in time. Step number 12. After the pickup has been confirmed with the driver, you are going to do daily check calls on the load. Important. Every day you need to call on that load to touch base with the driver to make sure the driver is on time until they deliver. We call it check calls. Step number 13. The broker ultimately is responsible to ensure the freight delivers on time in good condition with no damage. That's your overall end goal of that process. Step number 14. The carrier will then send an invoice to you, including with their invoice in signed copy of the bill of lading and any other shipping documentation or manifest associated with the load. You invoice the shipper and then you are responsible for paying the carrier on time based upon the term of the invoice or the term of the broker carriage agreement. Typically, the terms are 30 days. Better to make it as quickly as possible. Step number 16. You pay the carrier before due date on the invoice. Step number 17. Finally, you receive the payment from the shipper. So we have just walked through 70 steps and got very granular on this process. Somewhere you could find this information in five or six steps, but we made it so granular to understand the real process of what it takes to move a load from quoting the freight all the way through to not only delivery, but actually getting paid by the shipper. Hope this information is quite valuable for you and you have a very good picture and a visual and understand for exactly how freight brokers make money.